Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm GNG and this is episode 25 of the University League Challenge and today the season kicks off as we take on Shelburne at home in the first league game of the season. We'll also be taking on St Pat's in the first round of the Leinster Senior Cup. We will be playing two completely different teams in these games so a chance to see every player and how they are looking at the start of this season. As I said we're taking on Shelburne, a team, one of our rivals I think in the league really. They only stayed up last season because they won the relegation playoff. They've changed manager, sacked Damien Duff, brought in Jim Crawford and actually predicted to finish ahead of us in the league. So they're going to be one of our rivals all this season and it's going to be a real test for us to see how we've improved because I'd expect they'd have improved this season after finishing in that relegation playoff. So with all that said, let's get to the lineup for this first game and see what lineup we're going for uh, in the league. So here we are on the day of the game and this is our lineup and I think this is our strongest 11 as things stand at the moment. So it'll be Larkin Healy in goal, Alex Dunn at right back, Bruno Ogbas will make his league debut for us, the on loan Swiss centre back from Freiburg. He's taken over from Harvey O'Brien for now, see how he goes. Alongside Sam, that should be Sam Todd, not Ryan McConnell. Quick change there. So Ogbas and Sam Todd as the centre backs. Greg Lee will make his debut at left back. He is struggling after picking up a little knock, but he should be okay. In from Derby, the Jamaican left back. Let's see how he does and can he solve our problem at left back? Let's hope so. Our midfield is the usual midfield of Jack Keeney, Adam, Adam McDonald, and Dara Keane. Kibashi on the left. Duffy will start on the right, although McLennan very close to taking that place, but see how Duffy gets on. And Tommy Lonigan up front, he gets to start ahead of Kia Murphy, who will probably make his debut off the bench later in the game. And he gives us a different option as he's, option as he's stronger in the air, so that might be needed in the game. But let's see how it goes. Uh, that's the 11 we'll start with. Look, it could change with performances. Uh, we'll see how other players get on in the cup game upcoming, but that's the team to face Shelburne. So let's get to kick off and get this league season on their way. So here we are, first day of the season. Bit of excitement, I have to say. We spent a bit of money, of course. New players in, a new squad built. Let's hope we can push on towards higher up the league. I don't expect us to be winning the title like the very first season, but I want to see us push towards those European places and not be worried about relegation. I know we're predicted to be in the relegation playoff, but I think we're better than that. I think we proved we're better than that. So let's see what we can do and get the kick off here at the UCD Bowl and get this season on the way. And we are away now and opening stages of this game, Shelburne, a team I think will be around us in the league. So it would be great to get a win today and get three points on the board early, early on. We struggled last season for a while to get that first win. So do it early this season that would be great but coming up to four minutes gone here at the UCD Bowl still nil nil we're dominating possession nothing really created let's see can we strike early in this game first highlight of the match here Greg Lee with a throw hits it in towards Tommy Lonergan who crosses it can Dylan Duffy get to it he can't it's headed away Alex Dunn will pick it up though he crosses it back towards Keeney who strikes from a long way out and it goes over that's the first highlight of the match a shot from long range from Jack Keeney and it shows that there hasn't been a much happening in this match. We've had a lot of the ball, but created nothing. And here comes the kick out for Shelburne. Hits it long. Ogbos takes it. He hits a long ball towards Lonigan. He heads it down, but not to anyone. Will Alex Dunn get there? He will. And he'll play it back to Ogbos. Back to Larkin Healy. He hits it long again towards Kibashai. He's not going to win that. McDonald wins the rebound up. He turns and picks out. Absolutely nobody. Straight to their keeper. That's a poor ball from Adam McDonald. Need to be better quality than that. They hit it long. And it's not much quality on show here so far. Ogbus hits it long. Duffy wins the header. Lonigan down to Darakeen. Darakeen's through. Darakeen, first goal of the season. Darakeen puts us 1-0 up. And it was, wasn't much quality on show right up until that moment. And it was a long ball played forward by Ogbus here. And Lonergan, or Dylan Duffy wins the header, Lonergan then taps, it, uh, Lonergan is tackled, it falls to Derek Keane, and he slots it past the keeper, and we are 1-0 up, and that is a positive start to this season, and it's a great start, 1-0 up, 
dominating possession. Can we now go and control this game? Shelburne here with a throw in. Half an hour gone. Still 1 0 up. Cross into the box toward Milan. Oh, just wide. And that was a chance created out of absolutely nothing really. Just a throw in. And not great defender from Greg Lee, but we got away with it. And with just over the half hour mark now, still 1 0 up. We are having a lot of the ball, but not creating much. But it looks like we might take the lead. Oh, I'm going to take the lead until half time, but he actually tries to volley that corner. It's blocked, and Lee picks it up. Back to Adam McDonald. What can he do? Plays it back to Lee, tries to play it forward. Nobody that reads that. And a long ball forward, which Sam Todd picks up. Back to Lee. Keeney. Plays it over the top towards Lonergan. Is he onside? He scores. Is it going to count? It is. A brilliant finish from Tommy Lonergan. I thought he was way offside. What a finish that is. We'll have to see that again on the replay because I thought he was offside. It kind of switched off. Comes from this ball over the top from Jack Keeney. And he, he's onside it seems. And he just from a really acute angle fires it into the top corner. That's a brilliant finish from Tommy Lonergan. And we're 2-0 up. And... I thought that was outside, so I switched off completely, but what a finish. 2 0 up, 33 minutes gone, and it's all looking good at the start of the season for us. Minute left off this first half, 2 0 up as the highlight starts. We have controlled possession in it, which is something we're trying to do more this season. And 2 0 up, as I said, and looks like we're on the ball here. Could we create a third goal before half time, which would really kill this game off? Ogbus plays it long towards Lonigan. Not going to win that. And here come Shelburne with a ball over the top. Out wide to Myland. Greg Lee doesn't get there. And here they come forward. Are they going to get a goal before half time? They are. They're back in it. 2 1. Bit disappointed there with Greg Lee. Really should have cut this ball out. Look at that. Long ball over. Should have got there. Then should have won the tackle. Poor defending. And not a great sign of debut. Larkin Healy and Sam Todd blocked it out, but it fell to their man. He finishes it and going into half time it's going to be 2-1 and this game is very much alive although we have another highlight here lee playing over the top lonigan can't get there shelburne will come on the attack oh, don't tell me they're going to make it 2-2 no mcdonald winning that interception lee todd passing it around lee todd <laughs> there are other players <laughs> lonigan over the top here is he true nods it down duffy can he play through lonigan tommy lonigan Finishes 3-1. We've had two goals in first half injury time. One for each team. And at half time, we've got our two goal, two goal lead back after some good play there. Todd and, and Lee were playing it around. Then a ball over the top to Lonigan. He heads it, heads, it, heads it down to Dylan Duffy, who plays through Lonigan. And a great finish. Great to see these composed finishes from Lonigan. And coming up to half time now. Got our two goal lead back. There is half time. We're three one up. Three first half goals for us. Dominated possession, and that is a very positive first half. Looked like that goal was going to be a setback, but we responded brilliantly. Great to see, and let's hope for another great performance in the second half. Second half on the way here. Three one up, and it looks like we're going to start the season with three points and a very positive performance. Lots of green ratings all around the team, which is great to see, and. The excitement at the start of the season looks like it's going to last a bit longer. McDonald with the corner. Lonergan hits the post. Could have had a hat trick there. Dylan Duffy back in. Keeney picks it up. What can he do? Always fouled. Free kick. It's a good bit out, so I don't think there'll be a shot in this. But let's see. McDonald's over it. What can he do? He does cross it in. Sam Todd heads it just over. And that will be the end of an early hideout. But with Coming up to five minutes gone in this second half. Still 3-1 up. Another highlight here as Shelburne bring it forward. Hitting it long. Ogbass cuts that out. Down to Dara Keane. Alex Dunn bringing it forward but he's intercepted. And now here comes the counter attack. Farr. Bring it forward. Dunn gets back. Ah good tackle. Now can we push him out? He still has it far. What a run this is. Alex Dunn with a great tackle though. And it's cleared. But ball over the top. Larkin Healy. Oh just got there in time. And... We've survived that Shelburne pressure. Let's see what happens. Long kick from Larkin Healy. Lonigan doesn't win the header. So here comes Shelburne. Far Ogbus heads it down. Good defending. Darakeen. Duffy. Done. 
can we make an incisive attack here long ball for Lonigan he's true is this the hat trick it is you know Tommy Lonigan three brilliant finishes in this game he signed a new contract during the summer after Keen Murphy signed and that is fantastic to see his finishing is really improving and it all comes from this ball over the top from Alex Dunn Lonigan gets onto it and then a really cool composed finish for the hat trick what a way to start the season for Tommy that's back to back hat tricks in competitive games this season Fantastic to see, and with 53 minutes gone, 4-1 up here, and might start thinking about bringing on a few players for their league debuts. But we have another highlight right away, Larkin Healy hitting it long towards Dylan Duffy. Far, bringing it forward for Shelburne, ball over the top, Greg Lee doesn't, out of position, Larkin Healy with a good save. And Greg Lee has had a mixed debut, he's looked good at times, and then looked bad at defending <laughs> I really hope he solves that left back problem for us. He is not fully fit as well, so we have to take that into account. But with 55 minutes gone, 4 1 up. Shelburne with the kick out here. We've made five substitutions and brought on Keen Murphy, McLennan, uh, Schopner at left back, Harvey O'Brien for Sam Todd, and Sean Brennan for Kavashi. Some players who are struggling early on in the season for fitness, so we've brought them off early. Don't want any injuries. And here we come on the attack. Keen Murphy through. Is this going to be his first goal? It is Keir Murphy's first goal in the league. He scored a few in pre-season. That's great to see him off the mark in the league. And this is turning into a very good day for us. Comes from Derek Keane winning the ball back. Keeney McLennan with the ball over the top. Him getting an assist as well on his league debut. And Keir Murphy finishing it for us. Very good to see the new players linking up. And this is a very positive day for us. 63 minutes gone, 5-1 up. 10 minutes to go here in the second half, still 5-1 up. We haven't had a highlight since. Uh, just controlling this game, seeing it out. Great to see we've controlled possession, created a lot of shots, something we haven't done really much. Uh, Shelburne haven't looked good, haven't looked good at all. Maybe it's a new manager thing, but it's, if they're going to be one of our rivals for the season, this is a good uh, sign that we are ahead of them so far early on in the season. But 5 minutes left, 5-1 up. And cruising towards three points as we to see Larkin Healy take this free to Alex Dunn. Could we get a sixth goal? Plays it over the top. Sean Brennan, who came on for Kibashai. Poor effort, really, into the side net. <laughs> Don't know why he's heading it from there, but another chance created. And as Shelburne take their kick out, what we want now is to see no injuries, no sendings off, anything like that. It's been a good performance. Everyone who's made their debut. Has been good and Keir Murphy's true again. Keir Murphy, he gets a second. Ah, this money that we spent on him looks to be well worth it. He's going he's gonna to cause great competition for Tommy Lonergan. Already you can see Tommy has been pushed to some great performances. And this all came from a header won by Harvey O'Brien. McDonald plays it over the top. Keir Murphy straight through. Tackled, but he fights off the man and then finishes it quite easily in. 6-1 up here. What a start to the season. And as we, we just wait for the full time whistle here, coming up to the end of injury time, 6-1 up, what a start to the season. Couldn't have asked for a better, Tommy Lonergy on a hat-trick, Keir Murphy grabbing his first two league goals, excellent debuts all round. Look at that, Ogbass on a 7.2, McLennan came off the bench 7.5, Keir Murphy 8.1, brilliant debuts and really positive start of the season. And if we can keep that level of performance up, we will have a wonderful season. So we're going to get forward now to the Leinster Senior Cup game against St Pats. It'll be a much rotated team and let's see how they go. And can we keep this positive start of the season going? So here we are for this Leinster Senior Cup game at home to St Pats. And it's a completely rotated team. So it's Kanate in goals. Owen Massey at right back. Harvey O'Brien and Ryan McConnell are the centre backs. Schopner at left back. Serdenyak the holding midfielder. Brennan and Dimitru are the centre midfields, McLennan on the right, Harry O'Connor on the left and Keane Murphy will start up front. I'm actually giving Tommy Lonergan this game completely off as Sefner will be the striker on the bench. So let's see how this backup 11 gets on and can any of them put in a performance to force their way into the starting 11 for the Sympaths game in the league which is the next game after this for us. On their way here at the UCD Bowl and Excited to see how this 11 will do. Some new players in. Young players like Dimitru and Skopner. See how they get on. And Kanate in goals. 
let's see how he does. Did start that President's Cup game uh, against Derry and conceded after 17 seconds. So he's got past that already as we come up to the five minute mark. Nil nil here at the UCD Bowl. And let's see how we get on. Our first highlight here after 15 minutes. Schockner with the throw in to Sean Brennan. Is he going to curl it in? Oh, is it in? No, hit the crossbar. Hit the crossbar, bounced down and came out. Great attempt from Sean Brennan. He is dangerous from that range. Here's Massey with the throw in. Serdenyak heads it back to Massey. Kia Murphy heads it in. He is a danger in there, Kia Murphy. And he's going to be a weapon this season. Great to see him scoring goals early in this season. And we should have went ahead shoot through that Sean Brennan effort. It was really unlucky. But we've made him we've made them pay here. Serdenyak heading the throw back to Massey. Crosses it in. And Kia Murphy nods it, in, nods it into the bottom corner. And 1-0 up after 15 minutes. I'm very positive to see the players who have come into the team performing well. And let's see, can we go and wrap up this cup tie and get into the next round. Of St. Pat's with a kick out here. And they pass around in their box. Let's see, can we put pressure on and win the ball back. Ball in to their striker. And here's Evan Caffrey who we know very well. But Dimitri gets a tackle in. And St. Pat's retain possession. Kyo bring it back. Harry O'Connor. Ah, we don't win the tackle again. We've been unlucky there. Kanate will get to that though. And let's see. Can we build an attack here from the back? Kanate bowls it out to Schopner. Back to McConnell. Serdinyak playing that hole in midfielder role. Schopner. McConnell passing it around here. Into Brennan. Schopner. Harry O'Connor. Oh, he loses it. Not good. And St. Pats are going to counter. Ball over the top. Kanate doesn't come off his line. And it's 1-1. Probably should have come out there, the keeper. But we lost the ball very easily through Harry O'Connor. And then one ball over the top. Cuts us completely out here. Watch this. Over the top. And yeah, I think Kanate probably should have been out sooner. He's well beaten by the finish. 1-1 here after 23 minutes. Massey with the throw in. We've created a goal here in the first one. Oh, we're doing Harry O'Connor heads it in and we've done it again Owen Massey has two assists in this game and it's come from throw-ins on that right hand side not a back with Serdinyak and he crosses it in it looks like a training ground move and Harry O'Connor great header past the keeper who probably should have done better but that's a great finish and we're 2-1 up again we're 2-1 up and in the lead again I should say and with 27 minutes gone can we now retain this lead and take control of this match. St. Pat's with a free kick outside their box. And let's hope we can put pressure on here and win the ball back high up the pitch. But St. Pat's are passing around nicely. A ball over the top, which we've seen worked earlier. He's going to try and chip the keeper. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Oh, that's unlucky. Again, the ball over the top. And McConnell and O'Brien don't look as comfortable back there as Sam Todd and Ogbass did. That could have been 2-2. Would have been a great goal for them. But coming up to half time now. Minute left of this first half. 2-1 up. it has been a very even game. We've just taken our chances. Those headers from Murphy and O'Connor. Two minutes at a time. Looks like we're going to be ahead at half time. And we are 2-1 up at half time. Lots of positive performances. And let's hope we can build on in the second half. And wrap up this tie and get into the next round off this Leicester Senior Cup. So let's get to that second half. Here we go, second half on the way here and let's hope we don't get hit over the top anymore because we've struggled with that. I think a lack of pace with O'Brien and McDonald compared to their striker is making us struggle but as we come up to five minutes gone still two and up. Nothing happened in the second half yet so let's see can we see this game out. Coming up to the hour mark we haven't had a highlight in this second half yet um, and we are seeing the game out well. They've had a little bit more of the ball, but we've created a lot of shots in this game. And an XG of 1.10. Yeah, doesn't seem to be a lot happening. Game seems to be bogging down a bit, which we'll take if we can hold on to this lead, win the match, and see it out. So let's see what happens in the last 25 minutes of this Lancer Senior Cup tie. Ball played forward, but no one there to pick it up for us. We have been forced into a substitution. Owen Massey picked up a knock. So Alex Dunn has come on and here he is. Bringing the ball forward. Plays it to Dimitri. 
to Kia Murphy. He's true. Can he finish this game off? Kia Murphy slots at home. Brilliant finish and assist for Dimitri as well. And that should be this tie done and dusted. 3 1 up now. Great play, Alex Dunn. Fresh off the bench, brings it forward, plays it to Dimitri, and a lovely ball through, which Kia Murphy out muscles his man. And what a finish that is into the side netting. Great to see these goals from the new man. And he's going to be putting pressure on Tommy Lonergan if he keeps this form up. But with, with uh, 16 minutes left off this tie, 3-1 up and we should be home and host. St. Pat's with a throw in on the halfway line. Smith back to Wells. And they knock it long. But Harvey O'Brien cuts that out. But Evan Caffrey picks it up and he plays through their man. Good save, Kanate. It was straight at him, but it's good to see him getting a save there. And not a bad performance from him. Just that one mistake where he didn't come off his line. But with 12 minutes to go, 3-1 up. And really, we should be seeing this game out comfortably from here. Just a minute to go here, 5 minutes at a time. And the tie is over really. And it's a good win for us with the backups in. Uh, most have performed well. Conor McLennan, not great, which is disappointing to see. We switched him over to the left to see if he'd improve. He didn't. Highlight here at the end. Alex Dunn picking up the ball. And he will stand on it, waste a bit of time, knocks it long. And Sardinia cuts it out. Key Murphy, can he get a hat trick? Harry O'Connor. Harry O'Connor. Oh, he hit the post. <laughs> oh, that open goal and he hit the post. Really disappointing there. But uh, that would have been great to get 4 1. But it's going to be a 3 1 win. And I was just saying, Conor McLennan has been the disappointment. But maybe that's just down to fitness. I don't know. He played well when he came on against Shelburne. But that's full time. We've won. We're true to the next round. So we've already done better in the Leinster Senior Cup than last year. Lots of green ratings. Great to see. Kia Murphy with two goals. Dimitri with an assist. Harry O'Connor with a goal. A great performance all round. And two wins from two to start the season. Really positive start to this season. So that's the season up and running. Two wins from two. The only slight uh, downside is this injury to Owen Massey who will be out for four weeks. Disappointed him because he had great performance there. He got two assists uh, from crosses. But he's out for four weeks. So Alex Dunn in at right back for the next while. Won't be able to rest him too much. But yeah, only downside that injury. But two wins from two. And great performances all around. Everyone's got a game under their belt. And looking really positive at the start of the season. In terms of the next video, I'm going to play on the month of March. A lot of games there, as you can see. I'll play all them games and we'll come back for the first game in April against Dundalk away and we'll play the champions Derry City at home. That'll be the next video, the double header, Dundalk and Derry City. Uh, just to say this will be the last video I'll be putting up before Christmas. So I just want to wish everyone watching a happy Christmas and hope you have a good one. If you're watching it after Christmas, I hope you've had a good one. And if you're watching it in the middle of summer, well, hello and hope you're well. <laughs> uh, if you did enjoy today's video, please drop it a thumbs up it'll really help it to be seen more and feed the youtube algorithm and all that uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to follow the university challenge and there's a playlist if you want to catch up on the two previous seasons and how we've got to where we are today and yep that's it really for today thank you for watching and until the next video please take it easy